and welcome to today's vlog. We've been living the proper van life this morning. Don't argue. Well, the luxury. <laughs> Jace has just said that for himself and Mila's taking it off him. Yeah, we've been living the absolute van life this morning. It's a very nice hot one today. Well, the luxury van life on a campsite with air conditioning. That's <laughs> Tonight we're going to run the whole van as we live it on a campsite off the campsite electricity to, i mean without the campsite electricity to see if it can hold all night running if we're wild camping with the air conditioning see and everything else we have long. plugged in not, not just, i think it'll do all night it's just how long i want to see how long yeah i want to see how long it goes yeah because not only are we running the the air conditioning we're also running six fans <laughs> we've got multiple charging devices um, obviously the, the camera's charging, there's quite a lot that we do plug in on a night time to charge up for the next day. So we're going to do that all tonight just to see how we're going to go when we're not on a campsite. Um, even though we do have another campsite planned which we're very excited about. You said jump Mila! But this morning, yeah, we've just been sat in front of the air conditioning unit, to be honest. Um, lots and lots and lots of you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, then, over Prime Weekend on Amazon, I posted a load of um, really good... Oh, careful, I almost flew over the fence. A load of really good deals that I'd found on Amazon. And you guys were telling me deals, so I ended up spending an absolute fortune, much to Chris's delight. But um, I bought a food, what was that thing, a ninja foodie. I'm so excited to get home and use it. Everyone keeps saying, oh my gosh. I keep getting messages saying, you're gonna love it. It's absolutely amazing. I got the 9.5 litre one. Jace's turn, Jace's turn, Mila. Um, I'm really excited to do it. Basically, long story short, Chris went into Amazon just to see um, if anybody had used any of the links. And I thought he said there were a thousand people or over a thousand used the links. But then when we were talking about it this morning, how many was it actually? 15. 15,432. Yeah, there's over 15,000 of you that use the links and almost 500 of you that bought something from using the links, which just blew my absolute mind. I did receive quite a lot of messages saying, oh my gosh, thank you so much, I've been looking to buy this and it's on sale, or thank you so much for this idea, my son's birthday is next week, I had no idea what to get him and I've just used one of the links to buy, uh, it was actually a kiddie zoom camera. Um, Careful. Let me to fix it, mate. We have a look. And then quite a lot of you said you'd bought things for Christmas, but I didn't realise quite how many. So anyway, long story short, loads of what messages also asking, and I've had this before. If I've got a Pinterest, like I don't know what what they're called, but they're basically like a Pinterest with um Pinterest, Pinterest, Pinterest. It's full of ideas, basically. Yeah, just full of ideas and th because Shop the good thing about you're the biggest bargain hunter. I absolutely love shopping you guys know I do and I love finding bargains but the thing about putting them on Instagram is that once they've gone off my story they've gone so they're only on for like 24 hours and then they've gone whereas on Pinterest Pinterest they last they'll, they'll always be there so I'm in the process of setting up like an Ingham family shop gift recommendations or just gift ideas I do like her because I have got quite a lot of messages asking for teenagers what do I recommend for teenagers and I was like ask the girls and the girls were like well can we not post our own links and I was like yeah you guys can do your own if you want to so the girls will probably do their own section on there maybe or I don't know anyway that's what we've been doing this morning we've also been playing out here with the toy box this has been the best thing I ever brought on this trip yeah Awesome! You need to go find the other part and then I can fix In fact, there's three of those in total, so if you find the other two, I'll be able to sort it out. Chris literally was cursing me every time I came home with another outdoor toy, saying, We don't need all this rubbish! <gasps> Yay! We don't need it all! Blah, blah, blah. But how much have they played with this? Oh, and it's like a treasure strove as well, because every time you go in there, we find something new to play with. It's a treasure what? I know, I knew I'd said that a wrong. treasure trove, you mean? But I said strove. <laughs> A treasure trove. Treasure trove. Wow! Another one! We need to do this sometime. Yeah, the jelly thing. I might do those today with them a bit later on when it cools down a bit. It's a little bit too hot right now. So we're going to head to the pool in a minute. Are we going to head to the pool, Mila? We're going to go to the new pool we've not been to before. Ah, We've been to it, but we've not vlogged on there because it's always super duper busy. But hopefully, we'll be able to get a few shots on some of the slides and show you guys. When we get back a little bit later and it's cooler, I'll set that up for you. Okay, I promise. I know, but everyone else is too hot and wants to go to the pool right now. So we're going to go to the pool. Uh, no, oh gosh, no, no, 
No, no, no. Shoes on. Let's go. All right, really quickly before we go to the pool, I just thought I'd jump in with some technicals. Just really quickly, because Sarah touched on the whole air conditioner running all night on the batteries, and you probably most are like, what? <laughs> so. Let me just technically just go through what she's on about just really quickly for any geeks like me that are interested in all that sort of stuff. So this van hello, is equipped with 400 amp hours of leisure battery that runs the cabin and everything else, right? That's the same as what we had in the Sprinter. That's what this came with standard. It has, I think it's got a, it's got a two kilowatt inverter and a three kilowatt generator as well. So for those of you guys who are not too technical about that, Generators basically turn, create 240 volts of electricity for the van. So if we pull up somewhere off grid, we can turn the generator on by pressing a button inside and it starts the motor, which creates electricity to run all of our 240 volt sockets like in a, ha like in a house. Or we can turn on the inverter. Generators make a bit of a noise. This one's very quiet. Actually, I'll show you it. If, when we get off this campsite and we run it, I'll show you it next time. It's a very quiet generator, so you can hardly hear it outside, which is great. So. But if you are somewhere that's super quiet and you don't want to run the generator or the generator's out of fuel because the generator takes petrol fuel and you just want to run the inverter which is completely silent um, you can turn the inverter on as well so the switch for the inverter or the generator if the inverter can't work because your leisure batteries are dead for whatever reason you can turn the generator on when you're off grid and the generator will charge up they'll create electricity and it'll also charge up the leisure batteries at the same time so this van's really well really well equipped to be off grid for that reason but although it comes with all that sort of stuff it has and it has it has in cabin it has in cabin built in air conditioning for the cabin when we're driving etc and it has an air conditioning heating cooling unit for the main cabin as well it's not very effective in the cabin it's not very it's not very effective so we got a standalone air conditioner which is a very low powered very well recommended especially for van life because it's just a little bit older, the unit, the air conditioning generally. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, or if it's because it's so big or it's just it's too hot. I don't know whether the air conditioning unit in here for the cabin needs regassing or Denise's looking at because it's not as it's not as effective as I as I need. as we was need basically. So we got a standalone one at home, which was like a backup one or an extra one. It saved our lives. And it has saved our lives. It's brilliant. It's really, really good and powerful. I'll show you that another time. So basically the standalone one runs very low power, about 600 watts or so when it's maximum pumping out its maximum cooling effect. So we basically haven't ever tested it off grid properly. We've had it running off grid a couple of times for a few hours at a time, but it hasn't really been hot enough on this trip until recently. To, to like to need it the fans that we've got inside more than adequately the fans and the onboard cooling system more than adequately cool it down until now so it's only the la it's only since this heat wave where we're hitting nearly 40 degrees every day of temperature that it, that we've had to use the standalone air conditioner to, to top it up especially through the night so we've never we've never run it all night on the batteries alone and we don't want to have to rely on running it on the generator all night because you know we don't it, although it's very quiet it still does make a noise so if we're parked up somewhere, we don't want to be cr creating attention to ourselves or annoying other van lifers that were around by running a generator all night. Um, so we want to test it on the batteries alone tonight. So from when we go to bed tonight, basically, we're going to run the air conditioner all night on the inverter and the, and the leisure batteries alone and see how they're doing through the night and in the morning. See how long they last for basically running this particular standalone air, air conditioner. And hopefully it'll be all good and we won't have to worry when we leave here and um, because this, this heat wave's not going anywhere it's probably going to get hotter as we, as we travel towards Portugal so we want to make sure that we're all prepared and ready to go and if not and things are not running as well as we need them to then we need to think again there's lots of lots of shops we can get things from around here and stuff um, but we need to just know that we need to get them and act quickly to get them before we move on if that makes any sense hopefully it did hopefully you love geeking out with me about technical stuff like that and, and if you do then give this video a thumbs up and I'll do it more. Uh, but anyway, we're going to the pool. See you down there. Mila's having the time of her life. You got chocolate, chocolate cookie face, Mila. She's like, oops. Oh dear, she loves these slides and they're perfect size for her. And this whole pool, in fact, is the perfect size for her. She was in here yesterday with no floaty on for about 15 minutes because we left it at the van by accident when we came down after dinner. What's your tap? Come on, let's go in that pool. 
Ooh. I'll go in one second. Um, Chris ran back to get the floaty, but I was just stood in here with no floaty on, playing with her. And actually, the, even without her floaty, it's still a good. Um, Are you swimming? It's a good depth. It's a perfect depth for little ones. But obviously, the floaty goes on because it's super safe when we're playing. <laughs> right, Jace, do you want to go and try out the medium pool? Yeah. So I think Chris just filmed. I'm not going to spin the camera around because there's loads of people sunbathing. But just over there, there's a big pool where the girls play, don't they? Yeah, a giant girls pool with big, big slides. Mega slides. Yeah. Really big yeah, ones. Big ones. Yeah, why do you go down the steps? I don't know. You're a nutter. I don't know. <laughs> nutter. She does, she's crazy. And then there's this one which we call the little pool, the little one for little littles. Well, that's a lot of littles in one sentence. But this one's really cool. It's also nice just to sit at. It's got like a slopey walking bit here. And it's lovely jubbly. And then we've got like a medium one for big boys like Jay. Yeah, but this boring one is too big. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, this baby one is for tiny babies. This one's for really little ones, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a big boy. I'm already four. You are. You're such a big boy. Yeah, I know. That I'm big Watch slide. Mila. I don't know why she's doing this, but she's going up the slide. Yeah. It's not fun. That must hurt your bum. <laughs> Careful. And then she's plunking down the steps. Also, the floor's scalding hot, so you've got to, if anyone's coming here, or just abroad in general, make sure you bring waterproof shoes. Come on then, Jace, let's go to the other one. And then we got this one. This one's a little bit deeper, isn't it? Mila definitely needs a floaty on in this one. There's a big twirly slide over there. We've got a triple slide there. And then we've got the only one that Jace will go on. <laughs> it's this big chunky one here. <laughs> I don't know if it's to do with what day of the week it is or probably I'm more to the point the time of day that we've come up it's so nice around here today every single day we've been up here so far it's been horrendous like zero sunbeds free people laying on towels on the floor no space in the pools it's been rammed what's this? It's been okay, be careful. It's been extremely busy, but today it's so nice and peaceful. We have come earlier today. Usually we come after the height of the sun, so like four o'clock, and I think that's why it's usually so busy because everyone does the same thing. It's now about half past two, um, and it's just so nice. Also, Mila keeps doing this thing every time she gets out of the swimming pool, which is constant. She likes to jump in and out of the pool. Absolutely fine. But she keeps doing this thing where water's dripping from her puddle jumper. So, like, straight down the middle, there's, like, a stream of water coming down immediately after she gets out of the water. And she's crouching down like she's weeing. <laughs> and obviously, we know she's not. But it looks like maybe her swim nappy or something's leaking. I don't know, but it looks like she's weeing on the floor to anybody else looking that's not that doesn't know her basically she likes but to watch the water drinking. she likes to watch the water i was just saying esme's just come over but i was just saying she's just watching the water drip from her puddle jumper but she's crouching down as though she's weeing and from anybody looking from a distance is probably going to be thinking every time she gets out the pool that she's peeing on the floor she's not obviously but um yeah i keep saying mila stop it she's going water wee wee i'm like it's not wee wee it's just water <laughs> Every single time she gets out, I'm gonna try and capture her doing it. I'll show you what I mean. Yeah. Mila, what are you doing? It's not. It's not we. It's from your puddle jumper. This is what I mean. She's just up there crouching down, looking. <laughs> Oh, 
Anyway, Princess, happy 27 weeks to you. <laughs> I'm literally going into my third trimester next week. It's what crazy. is that all about? Well, actually, some websites say third trimester starts at 27 weeks, but um, I think it's 28. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> What are we doing guys? We're watching for Isla. Waiting for Isla. She's, she's going on the vertical drop slide. The one that literally catapults you halfway across the pool yeah, when you no, come out of it. You like skid across the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done Alice. Was it good? Yeah it was good. It was a bit scary though. <laughs> you flew down. I know. It's too much for some little tates. The cutest thing in the whole world. And I know she was about to go to sleep because she came over to me and she said, "There's only one word, but the whole, all of the one words together made." I could tell what she was trying to say. I couldn't get out though because I was watching Jace. He didn't want to get out while Chris was filming the girls on the slides. But she said, "Mama, towel, pepper, apple, tired." <laughs> Pram, oh I'm Pram as well. Pram, tired. So it's like you want cute. to get out and get a towel on and get warm in your pram with your apple because you're tired. She went, yeah. And then I was like, just wait for daddy and the girls to finish then. And she just put her head on my shoulder and I was like, oh, she's gone. She's gone. You've had a busy day. Uh, Jace, I need to tell you something. I'm so proud of you. Do you know that? I think we should tell everybody how much of a brave boy you are. Yeah. Oh, uh, we all tell them too, okay? So we, Jace is on one of the slides over there that I just filmed Jace on. He's been a bit scared of it because it sprays your face with water as you're getting onto it. And he's been looking at it all day. Didn't want to do it, didn't want to do it. And then one, he just sat up on the sunbed, didn't he, babe? And he was like, I'm gonna do it. Is it gonna go play in there? Yeah. Like, oh, and I'll watch it from here, so I can see it from here. And he's just been on it for like half an hour. Just going on and on and on. Con conquered his fear, John, bossing I'm all the slides like a boss G. And when he's learned to snorkel. Yeah. And he's learned to snorkel. And he's, he he's busy now. He's busy with Resume. He's getting a tattoo put on his hand. Uh, and he's loving life right now. So proud of him. <laughs> anyway, we've got a wicked time on the pool today. And um, it's about that time where we're going to head back to the van and start thinking about making some dinner. You ready, Is? Yeah. Alright, I've got my troops, Isabel and Isla. Yeah. We're going three up on the scooters. <laughs> That's nice. Is it nice? Yes. <laughs> it like sitting in a sink when you have sink bath? <laughs> Putting all the toys in? Yes. Wow. Okay, it's about to get messy. Are you ready, Jace? Yeah. Just pour one in at a time because I'm not sure how much we'll need. So give me the other one. That's it. You pour it in and then give it a good mix. Pour it all in. All in. That's it, keep going. Goodbye. No, you can go That's it, keep going. Keep going. And then put your hands in there and give it a good old stir. Okay. Get your hands right in and mix it. Mix it. Really good. Everywhere? Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. No, you can't swim in it, Mimi. Right, I'm going to put another one in because I don't know if that's enough. Put another one in. Oh, it's so sticky and slimy. Mama, mine isn't sticky. Is yours? I do. Oh, look at Jason. Oh. <laughs> now your dinosaurs will stand oh. up, I bet. You sent Isabel into the shop. What are you coming out with that one in for yourself for? I thought you were going to get me one with my monies. 
Yeah. 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 Just finished up with dinner, putting everything away and for dessert, oops. Oh my gosh, gosh, we always make such a mess. We're having, oh no, I don't think this will be any good. Aww. Feels a bit sloppy. What did we tell you, Mum? What did we tell you? <clears throat> Let's open it and see. So it turns out there's no dessert tonight because the watermelon's gone off and manky in the middle. <gasps> but it's Isabel's night to do the washing up. You got your phone for your tunes, love? Yeah, I do. Oh, enjoy, babes. Okay. Have a good time. <laughs> Make sure you scrub that ridge monkey well and good. I hate this ridge monkey. Mate, you're going the wrong way, washing up balls that way. <laughs> that way. Liza. Loser. Loser. 40-year-old. Right. <laughs> right, you've lost your phone. <laughs> so you know at home Chris is constantly hoovering. <laughs> get lost, get that camera off me right now. <laughs> Well, when we're on holiday, he's not constantly hoovering, but he's constantly on the floor, <laughs> sweeping up. <laughs> oh, no way. So we're all just chilling as well as going to do the washing up very kindly. Chris is just showering Jason Mila. These two are very excited. I'll tell you why. So, me and Esme watched this series called Summer Temperature. <gasps> Got my phone for a minute. Sorry. And we love it so much. And season two came out today. <laughs> so we're gonna go get in our beds and watch Put it. on our telly and watch the match of pretty season two. We're too excited. I'm so excited. Can't wait. I've got no idea what they're talking about because I've never watched it. But comment down below if you also watch Summer I Turn Pretty. And I if bet you, you will. If, if you, you don't, do, go watch it. And if you so do, much. Jelly or Bonrad? Jelly or Bonrad? Are they people? Like it's stupid names. Ah, uh, oh. you don't understand me. No, I clearly, <laughs> clearly I'm don't. Team Conrad. I was Team Jeremiah. I like his like role playing boyfriend is Jeremiah, and you're just Conrad. <laughs> oh, also, unfortunately, girls, okay, today was the last day that we were to get a code for the so Taylor Swift Eras tour, and we got a code. That doesn't mean we've got tickets. We've got a code though. But we've got the code, so we've got more chance. <laughs> oh my god! Someone help us eat. Wait, Wait so we've so got a chance. Oh, we've got more of a chance, it's not a guarantee, we've got a date next week. So what does this mean? What does this mean? I don't know, to be honest. It's all oh a bit god. confusing. But it means we've got a code, which means oh I think everyone that gets a code... I think all the codes might sell out the arenas. I'm not 100% sure. But I know that if you don't have a code, I think your chances are quite slim of getting tickets. You don't stand like it's not like so if you get a code. Out, yeah, because it's because the email actually says just because you've got a code, this doesn't guarantee you tickets. Mm -hmm. But all the people that I've seen get codes have got tickets so far, so mm. fingers crossed. You never know. But um, there's a code, so there's more chance of, of getting tickets. But um, what was, I was just going to say something there. If you, but yeah, if you've got no code, then I don't think you've got much chance. Please. But even everybody with a code, that still doesn't mean you're guaranteed to yeah. get tickets. Yeah. But please don't make us make your Christmas as tell. <laughs> <laughs> They're expensive. I can't buy expensive gifts for my children just for the sake of it. Like, there has to be a reason. Like, the only other time I think I've done that is... Like maybe when, maybe like your um, MacBooks that I got recently in January, there? but they didn't get main birthday yeah, presents. Yeah, birthday. Of course, there's a reason to go to a concert with me. He's the best artist of all time. And no, I'm not saying there's not a reason. I mean, it, it's to, to, for, like right, a, yeah, like some yeah. They are yeah. Really yeah, they are really expensive. Yeah. I'm probably not making much sense on what I mean, but. I know parent, I know IFAM, in fact, so I'm saying this because it's not a bad thing, it's just different to me. Um, I know IFAM that will buy their children, for example, Reborn dolls, um, because we saw quite a lot of our Jason Miele Reborn dolls, and even Prinny, and, and, they, and they bought for their children just, just, just like, because their children want them, which is absolutely fine, I'm not like judging that at all. Um, Esme's got a few friends as well uh, where if something really cool comes out she's really lucky like her parents will just buy it. For me, I've always been like if I'm spending 
sorry, I keep running out of space on the memory card. But what I was saying was, for me, there has to be a reason. I can't, like, spend... Uh, you're talking hundreds of pounds for these tickets. And, like, I feel like there has to be a reason for that, if that makes sense. Like, loads of people think that I spoil our children. Those comments have never, ever bothered me because I know I don't spoil them. They don't get everything they want. Actually, they don't get everything they want. And if they do really want something, then have to wait until their birthday or for Christmas. Yeah, all we have to, all we spend out our All they'll get out their own one is, yeah, which is fine. But, yeah, I don't, and, and even, and I'm not saying that parents, gosh, I feel like I have to, like, justify everything I'm saying. But even parents that buy their children gifts just for the sake of it, I'm not saying they're spoiled either. I'm just pointing out that for us, if they want something really expensive, I can't justify just going out and buying them it for just the sake of it. It kind of. I, I prefer the way we do it because then it's like exciting for, for your like birthdays and things for like a main present because if you're allowed to just buy, get main presents whenever you want like say I wanted a new phone and then uh, yeah exactly you know, exactly yeah phones and really things that like phone, that but if you, can, yeah. you have to wait for your birthday yeah, it's, then it's like, not only birthday it's exciting because I feel like yeah. if you're just getting gifts all the time which is nothing wrong with that but if you are then like it, it makes it be as exciting as yeah. if you're like if you like, oh yeah, I would like this for my birthday. Yeah. And this. Then you wait till your birthday and opening presents. Everything except if we get tickets. I, need to <laughs> I was and just about to say, the girls great. are very, very, very lucky for Christmases and birthdays. But. I, I, I'm not saying I never buy them anything outside Christmas and birthdays because I know I do. But generally, you don't get much other than clothes and shoes and holidays so you are still super duper lucky but if, if they were to come to me like and be like things. yeah big extravagant things like if i want a bike or like esme said can i have a new phone or you know things like that anyway anyway i did tell the girls if they get tickets it'll be a christmas present and i'm not telling them well, that's good because you've got more chance of getting the, uh, you've got a slim chance of getting the Eras tour ticket, but there's still more chance than you have in five guinea pigs, Isla. <laughs> anyway, hopefully I made sense then. I, I I hate talking about subjects like that because somebody always twists it and makes it into a bad thing that I've said when I don't feel like I've said anything bad at all, and I hope I haven't offended anyone because no no offended, no intent. I had no intentions of offending. I'm just saying, something big and expensive like that, I feel like, would be a gift for an occasion if you're spending hundreds of pounds on something. But at the same time, we are only in July. Christmas is a long time away, and they have been waiting for these tickets to go on sale for a long time, so who knows? And we might not even be lucky enough to get tickets, as you girls know, so don't get your hopes up. Okay. They also know that. Anyway, we're going to say goodnight. Thank you all so much for watching. I just looked in the view, find out how blooming. Yeah, I know. I was just going to say how bright the camera was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <not> joking. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 pm. Oh, muzzies tonight are in force. Good night. <laughs>